Alright, so here this set we've got Saul and Dude Gamer. With Saul on the left playing Shezo and Dude Gamer on the right playing Limris. Interesting matchup for characters. The Dark Mage and the uh, All I know is that Limris is a warlock. But this first round we've got both players starting off with seem with some pretty decent GTRs here. I wonder who's gonna pull the trigger first, or are they just gonna opt for disruption-based attacks? Oh, nice two from Saul there. Oh, Dude Gamer wasn't able to counter it in time to not, you know, have that happen. But Saul takes the first round seamlessly. Oh no, poor choice of words. I cannot English. Oh wow. We've got Dude Gamer here starting off with a three chain rush down. Hold on. It's giving him a very nice advantage, but Saul here is still not out of the fight just yet. You could get hit with a hard attack at any point in time, but so long as that red X is not hit, you are still in the fight. You are still good to go you were still able to carry on that's all that matters oh here we've got saw going for a very nice five getting them almost down to their transition again but dude gamers got a five of their own and it manages to send back okay we're into some mid game here this round's been going on for a minute <laughs> You love to see these types of moments happen within Puyo. They're not the most common for like mid game. Like mid game and Puyo is not the most common thing in the world. But when you see it, ah oh man, it is always a sight. It's always it's always a treat. And then especially from like like not not always from like this isn't something that's exclusive to top tier players either. You can always see this in any tier of Puya players, no matter their skill. We've got a three from Saul, but oh my goodness, that six! Dude Gamer just cements that oh no. I was aiming to I was aiming to take you out from the start, and I'm going to make sure that happens. And he just takes the round. You love to see it. Now we've got an interesting decision here from Saul. I imagine, like, I imagine a miss drop must have occurred, or maybe it was intentional. Well, regardless, it's Puyo. Anything can happen. But they're just gonna opt for the fortune here. Dude Gamer could fire with the greens, but no! I think they were confused. <laughs> it seemed like they wanted to fire that chain off, but they were unsure if firing that was gonna net them the win. They net them like the win, the round win. But it would have been better to be safe. But oh well. Now they they're both going for GTRs. I'm pretty sure there was an awkward that could have been found early in the round. Oh well. Both players setting off their chains. Saul with the six. Dude with the seven chain. Oh, that seven should be enough to take him out. And it is. Dude Gamer now tying up the score. Hold on. We might be onto something here. We might be feasting just a little bit. Now we've got. Oh. I thought it was going to be like a. What's it? Like a 2x2 two two stairs, but nope, it's just a rush down. Unfortunate, unfortunate for Dude Gamer. Saul gets exactly what they need to fire off a nice 6 and secure the round win. Keeping them ahead of the game. Hold on. Alright, there seems to be some pretty solid back and forth between the both of these players. They're not exactly allowing the other person to gain a significant lead in any way. You went around, 
you bet that whoever you're up against is gonna win that next one they've got their eyes they've got their sights on you and they're not gonna let them go now oh dude gamer is going straight for the all clear chain okay you love to see it but then we've got Saul here firing their seven Oh, this seven has a lot of extra, has like a lot of extra Puyos involved. It's not just a vanilla seven, where every link, almost every link is a, is like consisted of four Puyos. There's like five or six Puyos being popped in most of those like links, and that gives him just enough power to take him out, despite the all clear chain. You love this. You love to see the usage of group bonus in this game you love to see it a lot regardless if it's intentional or unintentional it's still always a delight at least for me that's how I see it now we've got dude gamer here going for a case of interesting freestyle while Saul here is going for the typical GTR let's see how it goes dude gamer setting off their chain it's a seven double and now Saul's firing theirs. Seems like we've got ourselves a, just a regular seven. Oh, well that allowed him to live though. Oh, it's just two rocks, but they have no space to work. And dude gamer just takes the round. Okay, let's 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 see. Dude gamer is like starting to get beyond the come up. Hold on. Back at it with the typical. Hmm, I'm interested in seeing what uh, Dude Gamer's angle is here. The chain looks clean enough to where they could build just about anything off of it as the chain finishes. But oh wow, that looks like a ten on Dude Gamer's side. And Saul here's got a nine. I think the ten beats it though just by enough but it's not over yet they've got a four and oh, it's just not enough it's enough to where a five chain no where a fifth link would be enough to allow them to live but there was no fifth link in sight unfortunate D gamer is just taking this taking that round and tying the score we're at a four for four hold on we talking Wendy's now? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what to make heads or tails. I'm not sure what heads or tails to make of like either of these, but regardless, a chain is a chain. So long as it gets the job done, you can never be upset at the end result. And Dude Gamers is gonna go straight for it. And Saul is too. Their chain looks pretty powerful. Wait, no. Wait, it cuts. Oh, that's tragic. That actually would have. That most definitely would have countered too had it not cut. Ah, no. And now. Dude's now in the lead. Two points away from winning it all. And from winning the round. Let's see if Saul can regain that momentum that allowed them to get ahead to begin with. Or is Dude Gamer just gonna continue to walk? It's all a matter of adaptation. And it seems that one of these players has already adapted well enough to the other. We're both going into main chains, a seven on Saul with an eight from Dude Gamer. Oh, wow. Now that is strong. There's no way for Saul to come back from that one for sure, unfortunately. So Dude Gamer is now up six to four, no Nintendo. And is on match point. <laughs> this is your last chance, Saul. You are now on one life. Will you be able to survive? Will you be able to take victory from Dude Gamer, or will you have to? Or will you run the chance of encountering them again 
down the line. Well, regardless, that applies to the both of them. We'll just see. Who's gonna who's gonna go at it more? Oh, they've got some oh they've got some strong chains here. Hang on. They're both gonna just go for it. Okay. That's a very nice nine. That's a very, very nice nine from Saul here. And a nice ten from Dude Gamer. The fact that that ten didn't even send like a whole rock of nuisance. Just goes to show how good group bonus can be. Like normal circumstances, a 9 chain will never stack up to a 10 chain. But, if you pop the right amount of Puyos and the right links, anything's possible. But, I don't think that's going to help them out here. Dude Gamer manages to take the round regardless, even in the mid game phase, netting them the victory. Tragic.